So let's talk about the Dragon Ball Super English dub. Episode 1 premiered tonight on Cartoon Network at 8 p.m. And the replay was at 11.30 p.m. Followed by the Dragon Ball Z Kai Final Chapters, a.k.a. the Boo Saga, coming on right after. But I want to focus on Dragon Ball Super and the English dub on this video. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the English dub of Dragon Ball Super and my overall thoughts on Episode 1. Now, if you want to hear my thoughts on the episode from when it first aired, way back in Japan on Fuji TV... July 5th, 2015, I will leave a link down below to my original review. But let's talk about the dub episode, which I'll primarily focus on the production and how it was done, okay? So, first things first, the television airing of Dragon Ball Super is there's good and then there's bad, but the bad is not Funimation's fault, it's more so the television company. So, The intro to the show, Chozetsu Dynamic, was chopped up and made shorter. It's the Japanese song, which I thought was amazing that they're keeping the Japanese song for both the intro and the outro, but they were cut down tremendously for the Toonami broadcast. I was told on Twitter that they do this with almost all their anime nowadays, that they cut things down. Also, the next episode previews are also not featured on the Toonami version, so... That sucks because the next episode previews always got us hyped for what was coming up next. Those are not there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions that I've been seeing a lot pop up in the community that you may be wondering yourself. Okay, first and foremost, the cast was announced a few you know a few weeks ago. Everybody's pretty much back. Um, the only major change is that uh, Laura Bailey is no longer voicing Kid Trunks. It's now going to be Alexis Tipson. Alexis Tipson was fantastic as Kid Trunks. She sounds just like the original Kid Trunks. You really can't tell the difference. A little bit of a different twinge, but she did a great, great job voicing this character in this episode. And as you know, episode one of Super has a lot of Goten and Trunks moments. She did a great job. Also, Shemmel is here. Uh, Kyle Bear, of course, reprising their roles, Goku and Gohan. Um, everything sounded fine there. Uh, Jason Douglas as Beerus reprising his role I thought was fantastic. And uh, so the voices themselves were fine. I didn't hear a single voice that I thought was bad whatsoever. If you're used to the voices from Dragon Ball Kai, they are all back except for, like I said, the Alexis Tips and Replacement. Now, of course, the music. I've covered this on this channel extensively but some people watching this video may not be a longtime subscriber. I saw some people wondering about if they were going to replace the music. Not only did they not replace the music, but the music sounds, it is the Japanese score, and it is the intro and outro in Japanese, you know what I mean? And um, I know some folks are wondering, well, what about Bruce Falconer? Uh, Bruce Falconer's done with Dragon Ball. He's never coming back. And if you want to know why that is, if you want to know why Bruce Falconer is done with Dragon Ball, what happened between him and Funimation, I've got an entire 22-minute historical mini-documentary about the story at Falconer Productions and the whole story between him and Funimation. He did not come back expected. It is the Sumitomo score. In addition to that, uh, there were no eye catches in this version. This is, of course, the television tsunami version. When the show comes out dubbed on Blu-ray, I do suspect it's going to have the full intro and outro and the next episode previews. In the past, though, it's been a little bit questionable because... A lot of you guys may not know this, but for Dragon Ball Z and for Dragon Ball, Toei did not give the next episode previews out to Funimation. In fact, they gave them the next episode previews both to Funimation and to the Latin American dub and internationally, but they didn't give them any audio, just video, which is why you only saw those next episode previews if you watched DBZ on Toonami way back in the late 90s. They're not on any of the DVDs. It's very interesting. Um, I was wondering whether or not Toei had done that again, but apparently that's not the case. It appears to be a Toonami thing, where Toonami's not going to have the next episode previews, but if you buy the Blu-ray DVD, or if it ent- if it eventually ends up streaming on Funimation now, which I'm sure it will, at At some point, you'll get the whole thing there. So that's something I can't really complain about. If it's not there, then I guess it's like, okay, we're not getting the whole product. But it did. It was fine. Also, the the show looked fine also on television. Uh, I had no issues. I watched it on my 40-inch 1080p television HD. Samsung um, looked great. Now, the other big question I've been seeing a lot is, 
is the 8 p.m. version different than the 11.30 p.m.? Well, I'm recording this just as the 8 p.m. version ended, and I'm telling you right now, the 8 p.m. version of Super is uncut, meaning... Mr. Satan is Mr. Satan. His name is not Hercule. Hercule is dead, at least when it comes to television, at least when it comes to the Toonami version, the Cartoon Network version, whatever. His name was Mr. Satan the entire episode. There is no Hercule in this version, but I do know from Chris Rager himself that there is. They did record a version of Super with the word Hercule replacing Satan. That does exist. Reasons being, if Super ever gets syndicated, they have to have an edited version to fill out the contracts. Now, a lot of you guys might not know about television contracts. I do a lot of studying about television. I know people who have worked in the television industry. So I'm not going to get into that too in-depth in this video, but just understand that they have to have a censored TV version in case a network wants a censored TV version. But that's not the version that aired on Adult Swim. That is not what aired on Adult Swim. That is, we got the uncut one. Everything here was exactly how it was in the Japanese version. The script was pretty faithful. The only thing that somewhat made me cringe that I felt was unnecessary was at the beginning of the episode, the narrator, which is the one from Kai, says, previously on Dragon Ball Z. Now, that was completely unnecessary because it's like, I get you're supposed to watch Super after Z, but if you remember, Super takes place during the 10-year time skip, not after the end of Z. The oob stuff and the pan stuff and the bra stuff at the end of Z, the last three Z episodes, that's after Super, at least the way Super is running right now. Um, it didn't really bother me that much, but it did make me cringe initially because I didn't think it was necessary for the narrator to say previously on DBZ. He could have just started off by saying, you know, Goku and Vegeta face Majin Buu. They could have just started off by just having him talk, but... They did it this way, and that's fine. I mean, it didn't really bother me too much. Also, the mixing and mastering of the episode was very well done. The music was not overshadowing the dialogue. The dialogue didn't sound, you know, bad. Um, I can tell you firsthand, no matter how much you love that original Dragon Ball Z dub, I know a lot of people are nostalgic for it, um, it had a lot of sound issues and audio issues because the whoever mixed it, didn't really mix it too clearly. And a lot of that might be because the tapes were kind of in poor quality at the time. It's a different era now. So I'm not going to blame anybody for this. But the I know the audio engineering for the old DBZ dub does not sound that good. The movies sound better. But the TV show didn't. Um, this sounded perfect. This sounded like a modern, you know, mid-2010s anime in the way it should be. So... That's the scoop I got for you. If you guys have any more questions about the English dub, feel free to tweet at me at Emperor Big D, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Um, but so far, the, the the good news is the voices were all good. The music was good. Um, uncut at 8 and 11.30, which is great. Uh, ADR directed by Chris Sabat. It's the modern way anime's done. It's the Kai way with the correct voices and the correct script. Um, I didn't notice any major script changes. Just some lines here and there they had to change to fit the mouth flaps. Overall, I thought it was a very good English dub. Um, and I hope that they put out like a full version with the full intro. Because I really wanted that full intro. But it just it feels so refreshing to watch a DB or any Dragon Ball dub that keeps the original Japanese intro and outro and purifies the series. Because look, like I've said before, dude, it, it's cool. No, I don't care what dub you grew up with. That's cool. You, you love whatever you love. But I'm the kind of guy who I think the series should be as faithful as possible to the source material. That's one of my things. I don't like dub change. I've never liked them. This was extremely faithful and really nothing else needs to be said about that. So, oh, and one more thing too, um, the voice of Fat Boo. I've never liked the English dub voice of Fat Boo at all. I've never liked the way that they wrote the character to kind of be a little too dumb than he actually is in the Japanese one. And I've never liked the really high-pitched one. That character's back, unfortunately, but... I was kind of expecting it because there was really no need to change it. I just personally never liked the voice of Fat Boo. I don't know how you guys feel, but I, I that was my least favorite dub voice ever, I think. And I love the Fat Boo character in the Japanese version. Also, some of you guys were asking, where can I stream the show? I'm not entirely sure as of this recording. If I find out, though, I'll definitely let you know, either in the comments below or on my social media on Twitter. 
Uh, the show is going to be on Toonami Cartoon Network Adult Swim right now. Uh, as far as I know, Crunchyroll only does the sub version. Funimation now may have it up, but I don't have a date for you. I- I'm sorry about that. I know some of you guys don't live in the U.S. and don't get Cartoon Network. Sorry, I mean, I- I'm sure that will become available soon, though. I'm sure it will be. And it- when I find out, I promise you... That I'll tell you. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the English dub if you saw it? Um, I think it's going to be a while, though. If you're going to start watching Super and just watch the dub, Super is on episode 74. The dub's on episode 2. So you've got a year over. And it's going to be airing weekly on, on uh, Cartoon Network. So you've got a year to wait to catch up. And it's not even going to catch up because Super in Japan will always be ahead of it. But this is history right now because this is the first time, guys, since 1997 when GT was on the air and Dragon Ball Z had started airing on syndication in the U.S. This is the first time since 97 we've had a Dragon Ball series going on in Japan and here. Obviously at different points, Japan's ahead, but it's the first time we've ever had this at the same time. So that's historic as hell, dude. That is historic, but kudos to Funimation for putting this dub out. I think it sounded great. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. I don't know if I'm going to drop a review on every single dub episode. I might not come back till episode 5 because, you know, that's a famous episode for all the wrong reasons, but uh, I look forward to hearing all you guys' thoughts in the comments, and if you like the content on Geekdom, leave a like, of course. Let's see if we can get this video to like 5,000 likes, man. Help me out. Anyways, thank you so very much for your continued support of Geekdom 101, and uh, I got some more videos for you to watch down below, as well as the Dragon Ball Super review from Japan this week, the Grey Sandman movie episode. I'll leave links to all that in the description. Thank you. Talk to you down the road.